Welcome back to another video. Today I want to do something a little different and today I'm going to experiment with starting some hazelnuts from seed. So while you can purchase hazelnut saplings and young trees from nurseries or you can also order them online, uh, they can be a little pricey especially if you want to grow a bunch. And so what I want to play around with is starting some from seed. Now when I'm doing this I am essentially rolling the genetic dice because I don't know Right, because I don't know what exactly what type of traits I'm going to get in these saplings uh, that I would start from seed, and, and it can be variable among the saplings. Each one can express itself uh, fairly differently from another one, but you can use this as a tool to kind of find new varieties or to find you know, plants that might be best adapted to your specific climate, uh, and you just kind of, you know, you just allow the ones that do well uh, to grow. And in order to have a really good and successful time of doing this, it's usually best to start with a, a lot of seeds and then go from there and over the years just kind of pick and choose which ones are doing well. Now I'm not going to be planting like a whole ridiculous amount of them. Uh, what I want to cover in this video is in order to really get good uh, germination and such, you have to stratify your seeds. Uh, specifically for hazelnuts, they're adapted for cooler conditions, you know, they're not tropical. so. The seeds can take some time in the winter time to go dormant, and once you go through the freeze and thaw variation, then certain biochemical processes within the seed can take place, and then the seeds will begin to sprout. Uh, now, if you just plant these seeds straight, um, like in the spring, and they haven't gone through like any type of cold treatment, germination rates can be kind of low. So I'm just going to experiment with a method to see how I can effectively germinate these seeds. And that is uh, essentially what I want to document in this video. Uh, so about hazelnuts in general, there are a couple of different species of hazelnuts. There is the American hazelnut, which is native to this area here in North America. And it is kind of fairly well adapted to this kind of climate and, and co colder and colder climates. But the fruit it produces or the nuts can be kind of smaller than its relative, which is the European hazelnut which produces uh, larger nuts, but it's not as cold hardy. But yeah, the hazelnut is an excellent uh, crop to grow. And in my quest to perennialize more of my garden and agricultural pursuits, I feel like this can be a pretty good step uh, to really get some productivity and, and edible food um, out of a more perennial system. But yeah, they can be a great addition, a very nutrient dense food uh, that you can add into your diet. Okay, so pretty much what I have here is I have three glass jars. And so what I figure I'm going to do is I'll put the hazelnuts in here. I'll, I will divide some of the hazelnuts between the three of these jars, and one of which I will put in the freezer, one of which I will put in the refrigerator, and then this other one I will uh, switch between the freezer and the refrigerator uh, every s couple of days or so, uh, on and off for maybe about a month or so uh, until these seeds are ready to go in the ground. And then maybe in another video I may try to document and see uh, which uh, method actually worked best uh, for germinating these seeds most effectively. Also I want to note that if you are getting uh, hazelnut seeds to start, make sure you get them raw as if they are roasted or salted, um, they will probably not germinate. Uh, this is what hazelnut seeds look like. Uh, they've got a dark brown papery coating on top uh, and underneath they uh, it's a nice light tan and that's of course the nut meat that um, that's in there. All right so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some water into each one of these jars uh, kind of swish it around so that the hazelnuts get some adequate exposure because stratifying a lot of these seeds in cold environments is most effective when the seeds are wet. Um, or damp. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some water into each jar and then drain it off and then I will put these in their respective places right at the fridge or the freezer and we should be good to go. And I just want to uh, make sure it's always good to label uh, what you have in here uh, when you started it. This one will solely be in the freezer, this one, this one will be in the fridge, and this one I will um, move between those two places. So at this point, I'm just going to uh, add these in there, and I'll probably check back in another video to document and uh, go from there. So thanks so much for checking out another video, uh, this time about hazelnuts. One other thing I want to mention about propagation and germination of these, ha of these hazelnut seeds is that 
essentially what we're trying to do is we're just trying to mimic natural conditions, right? We're trying to uh, recreate that, that, you know, that winter time, cooler temperatures, dormancy, right, throughout these colder months. Um, and you might be tempted to ask, well, why don't you just plant these seeds outdoors? And um, essentially my answer to that uh, for right now is that I'm working off of the seeds that I have available right now, uh, which is not a whole lot. So I want to maximize germination potential as much as possible. When you plant these seeds outside, uh, especially the hazelnuts, which are a very energy dense, protein, fat, uh, rich food, right? These voles, mice, and squirrels and such will probably be very quick to find these seeds as a viable food source, which uh, of course would negatively affect uh, your rate of germination. That's essentially why I'm doing that, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in a future video. Take care.